image, our personality, whatever that is bothering us. And let us be recipients of your word that will change our mindset and make us who you want us to be. If there is any spirit that will come to misinterpret your word, I pray as we say about them, bind us. Amen. Take control and lead us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray with us. Let us just say, Amen. 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 Today is the first Sunday of the month of December. That's right. <laughs> We are just at the end of the year. Mm. At the end of the year, we are left for three weeks. Mm. If this week is over, we are left for three weeks. Mm. And if you and I are still alive, it doesn't mean of, because of our beauty. No, it's oh, just yeah. by the grace. Yeah. By the grace of God. Yeah. So let's go back into our studies. Um, the topic for this month is giving thanks and appreciation to God. Giving thanks and appreciation to God. And today, our topic, so the whole month, our basic topic is giving thanks to God, giving thanks and appreciation to God. But for today, we've picked giving thanks to God. Giving thanks to God. And our sort of circumstances should we give him thanks and the whole circumstance? Let's look into the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk is one of those Old Testaments at the end of the Old Testament that you will find in the Bible before Matthew. So search from there. Mm -hmm. If you don't find it, I will come and lay my hands on you. <laughs> And pray for you. Maybe you are funny because you are using technology. <laughs> but with the Bible, it's difficult to find Habakkuk. 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 We are reading from chapter 3, verse 11 to 19. And I read Sun and moon stood still in the heavens of the great of the great of your flying arrows and the lighting of your flashing spear. In wrath you strode through the earth, and in anger you drenched the nations. You came out to deliver your people, to save your anointed one. You crushed the leader of the land of wickedness. You strike him from head to foot. With his own spear you pierced his head. When you, when his warriors stormed out to scatter us, gloating us through about to devour the wretched who were in hiding, you trampled the sea with your horses, churning the great waters. I heard and my heart pounded, my lips quivered at the sound. Decay crept into my bones, and my legs trembled. Yet I will wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us. Though the fig trees does not bud, and there are no grapes in the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle, in the stars, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me feet. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. Mm. He enables me to tread on the heights. Mm. Amen. Amen. Habakkuk is a prophet. A messenger and during those times prophets were not the ones that we have today they will tell the entire nation what God is about to do if they don't repent 
But today, prophets come and specifically want to speak about what kind of color of dress you have. What kind of material, what, what is about to happen to you? You are going to die, put fear in you, and take your money. Mm. It's about their benefit. So be, be wise. We'll be from what he says, yeah, I can't say you own money. I will go and discuss with my pastor. No, so I pass it to you. Do not listen because they go about seeking for money. Mm. By the time when they come to America, by the time they leave America, they are ordering cars. Mm. Not one car. Cars, why? Because of the money they took from you. When you move what to also said next to you, if you don't come and plant a seed, you will die. Me, my dear, no He hasn't seen anything. But because you don't want to die and die quickly, oh, see, five hundred dollars, thousand, kiki, 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 has come to the nation, giving them such kind of prophecy. Even though it look as if everything is empty, mm -hmm. it look as if things are not normal. But the God that we are saying is a God who is the God. Watch him instead. Right. That was his message. The, the title of his message was "Look to God." Watch him. Watch him perform. Watch him do miracles if he will not change the environment. So why do we give thanks? First, we give thanks not because of what God has done around, not because of what I'm seeing, not because of what I'm smelling, not because of what I'm anticipating that will happen. As I sometimes say, some people will come to church, they will dance because they have been promised. Or some money has been wired to them. Or they have seen something good. For that matter, they will dance. But when they didn't see that, they never dance. Why? When you do that, you limit the power of God. That's right. You limit the power of God. So, would you know who is the greatest saint in the world? A philosopher is asking this question. A philosopher, he says, would you know who is the greatest saint in the world? It is not he who prays most or fasts most. It is not he who gives most arms or is most eminent for temperaments, chastity, or justice. But it is he who is always thankful to God. Who wills everything that God Wills. Who receives everything as an instance of God's guidance? Right. As an instance of God's guidance and God's goodness. And has a heart always ready to praise God for it. Could you therefore walk, work miracles? Would you, would you not do more for yourself than by this time? Thankful spirit, for it turns all that it touches into happiness. In all things, give thanks. Amen. Folks, you are not thanking God because you can pray the most. That's right. You know how to pray. You can pray more than everybody in the church. You are not thanking God because you can dress, you have the best designer dresses. That you alone can purchase. Some people are so competitive that they look into their wardrobe and they have that Alvin Clan and those kind of clan. <laughs> <laughs> and they boast of it. When they come to church, they find out who has that kind of what kind of dress apart from mine. Mine is the best. What the, the jeans you are wearing is six. Uh, is which kind of jeans do you have? It is not 
the one that can dress good. It is not that. It is the one that can give that to God. Right. In all circumstances. Right. In all aspects of environment. Without checking nothing. I know my God is capable. Let me give you four, six things that you have to look for and give thanks to that. The first one is his love. Another philosopher wrote, and his name is Bruce, F. F. Bruce. He said, God bestowed his blessings without discrimination. The followers of Jesus are children of God. And they should manifest the family likeness by doing good to all, even to those who deserve the opposite. So we will thank God based on His love. I don't deserve to be loved. Folks, I don't know where you are coming from, but to me, I am coming from far. That nothing should stop me from thanking God. I know where I'm coming from. Remember where I'm coming from. Remember where you are coming from. It will come to 
serving God who he is. He will not ask certain questions that is not necessary. Mm. Why is it that if God exists, why is it evil? Oh, really? You want to find out? Ask yourself who you are. If you exist, why do you do evil? Mm. That's right. Ask yourself, if I am a human being and God, yeah, if, if I'm a human being, why do I do evil? Ask yourself first before you ask God. Why is it that you God will allow evil? Did God allow evil to, to stand in this world? No. It is our desire. Our desire not for God has led us to satanic influence. Our desire to hate one another has led us to things that is not unnecessary. Our desire to hate what is important is forcing us to take decisions that is not real. And once you begin to do that, you begin to realize that you are off the target of the purpose of God. You are off the target of the purpose of God. Finally, His mercy. The mercy of God is all in all, embracing mercy and it breaks down the barriers that man erects. We have erected barriers. Why? And lo and behold, the person will never, it doesn't matter what you say, it doesn't matter. Even if you go and buy Mercedes Benz to apologize, he would knew or she would never forgive you. But that person is expecting that same mercy from God. Goes to church. Pay his tithe. Love the church. But can forgive his brother. He is not showing mercy to anybody. But expecting God to, how will God do that? Impossible according to his word. It's impossible. Let us forgive one another. I don't care how, how the extent of hurting me. You haven't hurt me, you can't hurt me. You've hurt me more. Because vengeance is mine, says him. So when somebody avenge you, give that to God. And give the person mercy, whether he comes to apologize to you or not. Forgive him. Just recently, somebody has not been coming to church for so many, so, 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 so long a time. A leader, send me a test. Happy Thanksgiving. So, man, God bless you. Happy Thanksgiving to your family. God love you so much. I said so much my nice steps. That's right. It's okay. Does that make me mm -hmm. So it's right. Hey, it's right. I can't go. I can't That's right. Hey, I go. It's right. The one thing I think I can is to be in Ayaka. We show Ayaka. We show. I don't, uh, that is not my concern. <laughs> Just say, you swear I can't be happy. But the reason being that, ask first lady, when you give me food, I have so much appetite to eat the food and make sure the plate is made tough for you. First, I will not lie to you. Make tough for you because I have that so much appetite to eat. I don't know what to do. Why should I worry about you? Go ahead. You are rather getting yourself into trouble because you are fighting against me. You are fighting against me. Don't let us, don't let us punish those who are not coming to church. They are not our enemies or whatever. Do you want us to do that? They are still our brothers and sisters. That's right. Let us pray for them and love them. That's right. Mercy. Mercy. Let them say whatever they want to say. That's okay. But God is the judge. Ah. He knows the truth. He knows the fact. And to live with, with such Let's quickly look into Hebrews chapter 12. The book of Hebrews. Everything about God is great, vast, incomparable. One philosopher wrote, Everything about God is great, vast, incomparable. He never forgets, never fails, never fathers, never, never falters, sorry. Never forfeits his word. God never does that. Everything about him is great. Everything about him is great. Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews chapter 12. Are you with me? Do you understand the message? So let's read. The book of Hebrews chapter 12 says that verse 26 to 29. 
and I read. At that time, his voice shook the earth. But now he has promised once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. The words, once more, in indicate the removing of what can be shaken, that is, created things, so that what cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. We have a God who, who nothing can shake him. So if you have such a God, I'm asking, what can shake him? Is it trouble, as Romans chapter 8 asked? What can take us away from all this? Is it tribulation? Is it hunger? Is it what? Because we have a God who is unshakable. Nothing shakes him. Be immovable. Be affirmed. But one thing you don't forget is be thankful. That's right. Be thankful. This year, 26th of December, we will be here with our wallet. That's right. And say, God, if you have taken good care of me throughout the whole year, hey, who am I? What strength did I have? What power did I have to be able to go out there? It was all by your grace. So, Lord, here I am. I come with my appreciation. We're going to talk about appreciation this week. I come with my appreciation. I come with my thanksgiving. I come to let you know that I appreciate how you've taken care of me. Some people have died. Eh? Another virus is coming. They have announced it. It go back to who is bringing it. That's right. Oh, my boss, I'm fired. Whoever that crafted it, may it go back to the center. That's right. And what if he? We and yet love, Salam, the way I am, the way I am about. Seriously, the law of karma has nothing to do with mercy. That's right. Listen carefully. Zoe and Bibi are very mindful. The law of karma has nothing to do with mercy. If I pick this chair and draw it, guess what will come back? This chair will come back. It will not be love. If this chair is coming to me, and if I don't dodge, imagine what will happen to me. It will hurt me the big. But if I throw love, I throw money, and guess what will come? The law of karma will take place. Money will come. Love will come. Whatever you do. So whoever that is crafting that virus and the booster booster and booster mongol.
Close your eyes and let's go to bed. It is you, oh Lord. It is you that needs to be praised. Your word has come. It is nothing but your way. It is nothing but your power. We are nothing but human beings that waves away, flashes like flowers, widows. But Lord, we pray and commit ourselves into your care. If there is anybody who doesn't know you, Jesus, who is here or listening to me from far, may such person understand that you, God alone, can give mercy. You, God alone, can give salvation. You, God alone, has made it possible that our lives can be clean and be protected. So, Father, favor us. Give us wisdom to make such good decisions. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May thanksgiving. Let the church say, Amen. 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 We pray that Lord, we are entering into the world where we have no idea what is slated for us. But we know, no matter what it takes, you are with us. You will not leave us nor forsake us. You will not sleep nor slumber. So that things that are yet to happen to us will overtake you. It will never happen. Everything you will take control, Lord. We surrender our lives unto your care. That's why we decided to come to church today. Meaning we don't have any power to take care of ourselves. We commit ourselves into your care. We are our entire family. A moment like this, Satan gets up looking for blood. Minus our family. We come against any form of evil. We soak ourselves in the blood. And because of us, as a point of contact, our family will be protected and blessed. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Let's lift up our hands and share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 God bless you for coming. God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.